god oh my god um so i recently found out that battlefront 3 star wars battlefront 3 which was supposed to come out it was revealed um during this e3 and they didn't show anything it was just like it really it wasn't it didn't show anything i don't even think they showed any screenshots and if the, if it was i think they just showed like concept art or something but um it was supposed to come out next year well the game has been pushed back to 2016 I don't know if it's going to be early 2016, late 2016, but they're trying they're tying it in with episode 7, the the new Star Wars film that's supposed to come out that year. And they're saying the film the game was pushed back because of Harrison Ford's injury. He broke his leg on the set of of uh episode 7. You know, I hope, you know, I'm I'm sure he'll you know, he'll be fine, but um the game has been pushed back. So the good news is that it's it's going to be exclusive. Battlefront 3 is going to be ex exclusive to, to, to next-gen consoles, which you would expect by 2016. You know, I'm, I'm hoping by the time 2016 comes around, you're still not going to have these, these, these multi, you know, not, not multi-plats, but these, these old-gen, new-gen combinations. Um, so graphically speaking, it should look very good. Um, so I have a wish list now really no details about the game has come forward yet nobody knows anything about it so here's my wish list number one space to ground battles so I want to see a game where you know you don't just have I don't know Kashyyyk you know the home world of the Wookiees you don't just have like like land battles on Kashyyyk, but you can jump into a starfighter and go right up to space and get into a space battle that's going on up there. I I, I think that these these systems, especially by 2016, are capable of having that type of seamless you know battles from you know space to to land battles. You, you know we already see it a little bit with Battlefield Three. The first person shoot a battlefield three where you can you know not you're not just shooting on on land but you can jump into a helicopter or some sort of aircraft and you can get into aerial combat as well so there's no i just got a text message there's no reason to think that by 2016 over a year from now we won't be able to see that with with space so i would like to see that and I would like to see a diverse amount of, of Starcraft to start, you know. I, I'm sure they're gonna have cruisers and, and capital ships and things like that. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to take over those ships. And it would be incredible um, if you can have like 64 plus um, players, hopefully maybe like 100, hopefully, on, on, one, on one, you know, sort of, map at a time and you have like a bunch of players fighting on land and then a bunch of players fighting in space and you have players trying to take cap a capital ship and that can completely you know turn the tide of the battle so i like to see that number two diverse class choices and diverse abilities now something with uh the old battlefront games is that your abilities were really limited um, I know like the heroes like the Jedi the Jedi and Sith heroes really only had like two abilities I think it was like force push and lightsaber throw or something like that I like to see I like to see you know the abilities list <laughs> expanded a little bit and the same thing applies to classes as well number three epic sized maps that allow for thousands of NPCs and as I said before, at least, at least 64 plus PvP battles. You know, the new Assassin's Creed game, you know, Unity, they have a thousand, up to a thousand non-player characters, NPCs on the screen at one time. By 2016, I know I'm sounding repetitive, but by 2016, they should be able to do that for Battlefront 3. 
you know what I'm saying? If at least a thousand, I'm not gonna push it and say more than a thousand NPCs, but at least a thousand. And they should be respawnable. So like these battles, I wanna play Battlefield 3 with, I mean, not Battlefield 3, Battlefront 3 with the graphics, the next gen graphics, and it's exclusive and the environment is, is crazy sexy and things like that. And you're just seeing soldiers all over the place, like lightsaber bolts all over the place. And these planets should be huge. And now, this leads me to, to, to the next thing on my wish list, number four, which is 30 plus maps. Now, I'm saying maps and not 30 plus planets because you can have something where you can have a map that takes place on one part of the planet. You know what I'm saying? So you could do something like Tatooine where you have one map that takes place, I don't know, around the Sarlacc pit or something on Tatooine. And then another part takes place around Jabba's palace. You know, so at least 30 plus maps. But I'd like to see a lot of planets at launch too. Like that's going to be a big seller for me. Like I'm probably going to end up buying the game anyway. But I'd like to see a lot of planets large planets and seamless space to land battles like like that would be epic as fuck <laughs> so the last thing that i want to see the last thing and and i mean this is a small wish list it's not the only thing i will the only things i want to see but these are sort of the main things number five number five custom characters now I know in the old Battlefront games you know they are uh, I didn't play Battlefront 1 who the fuck is this walking up on my car okay random I didn't play Battlefront 1 but Battlefront 2 I know that they had um, they had characters that were kind of predetermined already and you played them throughout this you know this campaign mode um which the campaign mode was fine but i like to see customizable characters i like to see characters like almost like a more of an rpg mmo-ish type of thing going on where you can choose your class you can choose your your side of course whether you're you know you want to do it on a rebel the rebel side or the empire in the imperial side well depending on the time period that the game takes place during too um and you know customize the looks everything um i don't see why that wouldn't you know they they wouldn't be able to implement that so that's my wish list all right hit the subscribe button hit the like button and add your input into the comments section tell me you know anything that i may have missed that you may want to see in the game and check me out later